Hey, uh, Scott, just looking through what we've seen, the increases that Joe was talking about earlier in places like Texas and Arizona, lots of places uh, that have opened up early. It, I've heard uh, several different takes. It's kind of gotten out there on social media, too. Some people pushing back and saying, no, it's just that they are testing more. That's the only reason you're seeing this increase. What do you say to that? Well, there's an increase. Uh, the reality is hospitalizations are going up. You know, we shouldn't be looking just at the new cases. New cases are going up, but hospitalizations are going up as well. Now, that said, we expected hospitalizations and cases to go up as we reopen. So there, there isn't a lot that's very surprising in this data, other than that there's certain parts of the country that look pretty hot right now. Arizona really has a large outbreak underway. Fully 20 percent of all their hospital beds are occupied by COVID patients, 30 percent of all their ICU beds. Texas seems to have outbreaks underway in cities like Houston, where Texas Medical Center alone is reporting more hospitalizations on a daily basis than the entire city of New York right now. So there's parts of the country that look pretty hot and have big outbreaks underway. We seem to have made a policy decision, um, and you know we, we'll go back and judge this in the future whether this was right or wrong, but that we're going to tolerate a higher level of persistent spread here than other countries. Other countries really tried to drive rates down very low. We're tolerating a level of spread here on a hope that we can manage through it, contain it through better testing, and also preserve life through better treatment of individuals. We've gotten a lot better at treating this disease in the hospitals, so the death rate should come down. But make no mistake, we're going to be tolerating a lot of spread of COVID-19 heading into the summer and the fall, and we're not going to shut down again. I think if we do have large outbreaks nationally, we're going to be very reluctant, especially ahead of an election, to shut down the country, do a simultaneous national shutdown again. So you're going to see us reach for policy things like universal masking, stricter enforcement of masks, widespread testing, going to the case-based interventions as a way to mitigate really large epidemics. Um, but we're going to tolerate a persistent level of spread in this country. It seems to be the case. That's going to be higher than other nations. And, and that's one reason why consumer activity may not just sort of rebound back to the levels it was at. We may have that sort of 80 percent economy that we talked about, where people still are pretty cautious about what they're doing and how they're engaging in the economy.